SPCA and Humane Society are releasing a new Animals in War collectible pin ahead of Remembrance Day. This year, it features a cat to honor the wartime contributions of our feline friends. The new pin goes on sale today, and joining us live with more is the OSPCA's Callie Millman. Callie, good morning to you. Thank you for being with us this morning. So since 2017, the Ontario SPCA and Humane Society uh, has been releasing a new commemorative Animals in War collectible pin each year, leading up to Remembrance Day, and this year it's the cat. How did cats help our veterans during the war? Morning, Jennifer. Thanks so much for having us. Yes, we're excited to have our new Animals and War pin at the Ontario SPCA. And as you mentioned, it's a cat. And, you know, in the past, since 2017, our pins have had dogs, horses, we've had a pigeon pin. And I think sometimes when you think about those animals, it's probably um, more frequent that you would think of those types of animals in wartime. Um, but, you know, not many people realize that cats also played roles during wartime. And so um, what that looked like was cats often were companions to uh, those who served. Um, there's quite a rich history there where you can see uh, cats, you know, sort of cuddling uh, with uh, wartime members. And then as well, they were working cats. They also helped keep ship free of vermin. So uh, when you start to think about it in those ways, you kind of go, yeah, you know what, that makes sense. Cats did play a role. And so our pin this year is to commemorate that role and uh, to be worn alongside the poppy as I'm doing here today. Okay. And speaking of the pin and wearing it alongside the poppy, uh, what will the funds from the sale of the pins go toward? So uh, the sales from the pins go towards helping animals in need at our Ontario SPCA locations across the province. And you can see an animal right behind me, my dear friend Buddy, and it can go to helping animals just like him as well. And then it's also we're going to have one dollar from each pin sold go to Royal Canadian Legion branches across Ontario. So it's really a pin that sort of gives back not only to remember and commemorate our veterans and the animals that serve by their side, but we also want to support our veterans as well. So uh, people can visit Ontario SPCA.ca slash animals in war and you can purchase your commemorative pin today. Okay, and that's the only place where people can purchase these pins is through the website that you just mentioned? Ye Yes, if they visit online, they can check it out there. They can also give us a call as well um, if they want to place an order over the phone. Okay, and can I ask very quickly uh, how much the pins cost? Uh, yeah, that's a great question. We do have a couple of different pins, and so uh, each of the pins, they have their prices there on the website. So again, you can purchase the dog pin, the horse pin, the pigeon pin, or the cat pin, um, and you can see them all listed if you want to collect them all. We do have bundled packages as well, so you can uh, check it all out on the website, ontariospca.ca slash animals in war, and you can purchase some for friends, family as well, um, and get everybody you know, to wear them before Remembrance Day. Okay. And Callie, I see a furry friend behind you. He's looking so cute. Uh, this yeah. is Buddy, a husky mix. He looks so excited. Uh, let's talk <laughs> about him. I know he's up for adoption and he's two years old, right? Yeah, so my friend Buddy here, you can see how incredibly friendly he is and obviously really, really adorable. <laughs> He's all excited. It's early in the morning. He wants to get outside and go for a run. Um, as you mentioned, he's two years old. He's looking for his forever home. He's looking for a home with um, no other pets and preferably no small children. Um, mm -hmm. And he is neutered, microchipped, and of course will go home with his great package from Royal Canin. So he's essentially ready to go looking for his forever home. So if anybody out there thinks, you know what, I could I could snuggle with a lovable guy like uh, Buddy over here, then please, please reach out to us. We want to find him his forever home. And where is uh, Buddy located right now? Like, where can people so go So he's to located him? at our animal center just outside of Stouffville. So we're just off the 404, um, just outside of sort of Newmarket, not too far. Um, right off the highway. It's very convenient. So <laughs> you can reach out um, to us by visiting ontariospca.ca or give us this center a call. The number is 905-898-7122. Happy to hear from anybody who's interested in adopting Buddy today. And uh, Buddy, he's a husky mix. I hear that huskies are kind of a dramatic dog. They like to howl and make noise, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> most huskies do like to howl and make noise. 
I don't think Buddy's too loud, eh, Sarah? He doesn't usually make too much noise, we haven't noticed here. And um, he's pretty well house trained because we just came in this morning and I got his room here behind me and there's no accidents in his room. He goes right outside and goes to the bathroom in the morning. So, I mean, you're getting a dog that knows how to sit, that's house trained. I mean, he's really the perfect companion. Okay, well, thumbs up to Buddies for that. Thank you so much, Kelly Millman from the Ontario SPCA. We appreciate your time this morning. Take care. Thanks, Jennifer. Bye-bye. Bye. And bye to Buddy as well.